Hello all, it is The Rising Group with Ryan and Tony. And uh, we are here with April Market Recap. It is May. And before we get started, this video is sponsored today by SurPro. Tony, why is it brought to you by SurPro today? We will be playing in the SurPro Pro Golf Scramble at Stone Wolf this afternoon, which is why we're in this fancy That's right. golf attire. That's right. So we are super excited. Hey, speaking of golf. Wow, that sounds like a heck of a shot there, Shotopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we probably need to get back into, into actually talking about uh, real estate here instead of golf. Yes, so, uh, Tony, what do we got for market trends for that we've seen in April here? Well, looking at, looking at Madison County, things are, are pretty much uh, gone from bad to worse in terms of being a seller's market. Um, our month's inventory is down. We're seeing fewer and fewer listings. Um, the ones we are seeing that are priced right are, are moving relatively quickly and um, with multiple offers. So, you know, if you're a seller, you know, we'd love to talk to you and get some listings going. Um, if you're a buyer, be prepared because it's, um, it's a jungle out there right now. Days on market, what do we got? Um, days on market are, are very short right now. It yeah. just depends on where you're at. But median days on market, Madison County right now is running 33, um, you know, and, and a little bit less than that in Brazil. But, you yeah. know, pending sales are happening literally, again, if they're priced right within three days in both markets. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weekend. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And you're seeing a lot of that where, you know, listing agents are putting places on the market. Um, they're saying, hey, we're going to start looking at offers Sunday night, Monday morning. And, you know, people are dropping contracts like crazy on these yeah. listings. So. Yeah. The What about month supply? We, we've seen a couple of different things from a couple of different sources. Yeah. Well, again, um, we're less than a month. I mean, yeah. in both markets are right yeah. at a month supply. Yeah. Right about right about a month yep. supply. Yep. That's what we were seeing. So. Average, if you guys, as you guys, I've, I've said it several times, average, like a healthy market month supply is six months supply. Mm -hmm. We're sitting right One about month. a month. Yeah, yeah, so not a healthy market, which means, so if there's a scale, we were looking at a, a scale here that on, uh, we were looking at the stats on buyer's market versus seller market, that needle was basically pegged as far as the it could potentially be yep. in the seller's market. So uh, it is definitely a seller's market. So outside of the data that we have, and we have here, we know like the things are looking good. Th places are appreciating, um, areas appreciating pretty well. Mm -hmm. What are we seeing? What are we seeing firsthand? And we've 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 seen well, we've seen a lot happening here. In exactly this. what we just talked about. Yeah. I mean, I've done two open houses for listings in the last you know three weeks, and in both cases, they've sold over the weekend. Yeah. Multiple offers. Yeah. Um, how many? Well, there was one house, open house. You had how many parties? One had, oh, we had the first one. We had like 25, 30 parties come through. There are over 100 people in two hours. Second one was a little bit less than that, but it was a little further out in Madison yeah. County. Um, but in both cases, they got multiple offers. Yeah, yeah. So the, and that's exactly what we're seeing as from the buyer side, uh, it's like a weekend and then you're going under, and then it's going under contract, they're reviewing offers. Uh, any agent you talk to, you know, we talked to a lot of agents. We were just at an event talking to several agents about it. Uh, it's madness right now, and uh, it's it's what, exactly what we've you know we've been seeing mm -hmm. for the past three months. So, the we had um, we had a couple listings, and we had one that had seven offers, one that had eight offers, one um, that had we had you know I don't know we had one that had two offers in, so two or three offers total. Mm -hmm. It really comes down to you, you got to make sure that you're willing to rely for one rely on your agent to tell you what the true market value Absolutely. of the property is, you know because. Because what that what the listing price is, is is just the listing price. It's just the starting price, you know. So that that starting price, an agent could list it way too high, or they could list list it a little bit intentionally, list it a little bit lower on on purpose. Mm -hmm. So um, so you know you so you got to really rely on the agent uh, as far as being able to decipher if if that price is right, and then um, you know make a really good educated guess on as far as what you want to offer on that property. So. Uh, a lot of times, these bidding wars are scaring are scaring clients, scaring buyers away, yep. and I don't think it should. I think we just got to be educated because a lot of times people think that when they when they hear bidding war, they think it's just it's getting priced extremely out of the market, mm -hmm. and sometimes that is. But I always tell everybody, like when we're with our buyers, you know, be okay whatever price we decide at, be okay losing it. You know, so be okay if you get it at that price, or be okay losing it at right. that price. Right. Well, the bottom line for buyers right now is be prepared. Make sure you've got your ducks in a row financially. Um, you've got pre-approval letter put together. And when you see a house, property you really like and you want to put an offer in, make your best offer first. Get it out there. 
um, because there just really is not a lot of negotiating going on right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, sellers, I mean, it's it is so pivotal that you take the right steps in this market. Everybody thinks like so. The 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 thing is in this market, you're gonna sell your house. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's not hard to sell your house. But the key is is getting the top dollar for your house house when you go to sell. So sellers, there's a lot of things that can go wrong if you're not aware of what those things are. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's good to to be educated and know the tactics because you know it's not standard negotiations it's not hey you come halfway mm -hmm. you know i'm going to list here you come halfway we're going to meet in the middle somewhere yeah, it's, it's not it's, it's not nope. traditional tactics right not now so uh, know the tactics that work in this market that's the biggest thing that i could advise for buyers and sellers yep yep yeah and from a listing perspective if you're getting ready to buy to sell your house uh you know again be prepared you know, I highly recommend pre-inspections. Um, they just take care of so many issues down the road. There's no surprises. Once you've got a contract, um, you know, you know if you've got problems that need to be taken care of and you can get those taken care of in front and then the deals go smooth. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You got anything else you wanna head out? We're, this nope. is a shorter video. I'm today. ready to go hit the driving range. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, so me and Tony are off to go play some golf. Thank you to Serve Pro. And uh, we are not going to win this scramble, but we are grateful to be out there and uh, having a good time. Thanks to Surpro. So uh, huge shout out to them today. You bet. And you guys have a great day. Bye all. Take care.